How's it going everyone? My name is Dylan Abernathy and I'm a junior model artist from Toronto, Canada. What you're watching right now is a trailer for my new tutorial series on how to create complex props for games and real-time rendering. In this course we'll be going over my complete workflow from start to finish as to how I created this antique typewriter. What makes this course unique is that it has been designed to allow you, the viewer, to be able to get the information provided however you'd like to. Each chapter comes equipped with fully detailed real-time commentary and breakdowns as to what I'm doing, as well as the project files to jump in and get started in that specific chapter. This of course also includes the final models and textures of the typewriter. Not only that, but for longer chapters such as modeling and texturing, a complete chapter video is included that contains all videos within that chapter sped up, and a quick chapter overview to go with it. These videos also indicate which real-time video you are viewing in the bottom right, so if something catches your eye, you know exactly where to go to get all the details. On top of all this, the whole course has been uploaded to Google Drive, allowing you to control the playback speed, as well as if you'd like to watch these videos online or download them for on the go. The chapters in this tutorial include Chapter 1, Introduction and Demo. In this chapter, I'll go more into detail as to how the course is structured, as well as offer a quick demo of the pipeline. This is to ensure that once we start working on the typewriter, you're already familiar with all the steps we'll be taking to get to the final asset. Chapter 2, Plugin Installation and Files. The second chapter is designed to make sure everybody watching can start the project on an even playing ground, supplying you with all the plugins, software, and resources needed, as well as a video demonstrating how we can easily install them all. Chapter 3, Blockout and Mid Poly. During this chapter, we will do the bulk of the modeling, tackling the asset head on and getting it ready for ZBrush. By the end of this chapter, we will have completed the typewriter model with most of the details in place, as well as have explored many modeling techniques to create complex, hard surface shapes and speed up our workflow within Maya. Chapter 4, High Poly. For the High Poly phase, we will explore a seamless Maya to ZBrush workflow that quickly allows us to import our model into ZBrush, execute our polish pass, sculpt in unique damage and high fidelity detail, as well as optimize our work to bring back into Maya. Chapter 5, Low Poly and UVs. Returning to Maya, Chapter 5 will focus on creating our final model and UV layout. We will explore stacking UVs, utilizing multiple material sets, and proper scene organization within Maya. Additionally, a detailed breakdown on how to set up our models and UVs for perfect baking will be demonstrated. Chapter 6, Baking. With all the technical work out of the way, Chapter 6 is one of the shortest in the series. Here I will teach you how to create perfect bakes within Marmoset Toolbag and iron out any issues you may come across along the way. Here we'll go over two ways to use the software to generate your desired bakes and prepare our assets for texturing. Chapter 7, Texturing. For texturing, I share with you how we can set up our model and scene within Substance Painter to quickly start working on our final textures with ease. Here I will share my entire texturing workflow, as well as how to build up many materials from scratch using smart masks, fill layers, and included brushes. I will also share my methods for adding additional details such as trims and panel lining. Chapter 8, Rendering. With production complete, we'll be wrapping this up by returning to Toolbag once again, this time for rendering. Here I will show you how we can quickly set up our props for portfolio-ready beauty shots by utilizing 3-point lighting, rim lights, and by exploring various render settings within the program. We will then dive into Photoshop for some final touch-ups and discuss what to keep in mind when creating a portfolio-ready piece. Finally, Chapter 9, our Postmortem. Our final chapter is just a quick audio recording discussing ways to improve the workflow for future projects. While I'm happy with the results of this typewriter, it's always important to think these things through after completing any project, so I decided to include my final thoughts within the tutorial itself. So guys, that's the course. Well organized, flexible, easy to digest, and allows you to focus on the areas you wish to learn the most. The entirety of this course will be linked in the description of you anytime and will remain free indefinitely. If you're enjoying the series and would like to support my work, there are two main ways of doing so. The first and most helpful is just by sharing this around. Liking this video, sharing my pinned tweet on Twitter, or passing this on to a Discord with fellow artists definitely helps me out a ton. Additionally, if you'd like to encourage me to make more free content like this, I've included two optional donation links in the description of this video, as well as attached to the course itself. Thank you for taking the time to come check out my work and I hope it can be of good use to you guys. If you have any questions or would like to just share some of your work, I've included a link to both my Twitter as well as my email in the tutorial itself. Other than that, thank you guys for watching, hopefully you enjoyed the tutorial, and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.